As a devoted marketing enthusiast with a penchant for analyzing startup strategies, I find the marketing prowess of Tadashi Yanai, the founder of Uniqlo, remarkably enlightening. Yanai's visionary approach, his innovative marketing tactics, and his relentless pursuit of excellence have propelled Uniqlo from a small clothing store in Hiroshima to a globally recognized retail brand. The journey of Uniqlo under Yanai's leadership provides invaluable lessons for anyone looking to understand the nuances of effective marketing. Episode 1. The Implementation of the Spa Model In 1984, when Yanai took over his father's suit store, he was not content with the status quo. He envisioned a global brand that offered high-quality, affordable clothing. To achieve this, he transformed the store into Unique Clothing Warehouse, later shortened to Uniqlo. Yanai's transformation didn't stop at rebranding. He implemented a business model that was relatively unheard of at the time, the SPA, specialty store retailer of private label apparel, model. The SPA model allows a retailer to control every aspect of the business, from design and manufacturing to distribution and retail. This approach not only enabled Uniqlo to maintain product consistency and quality but also allowed the brand to quickly respond to changing market trends. Uniqlo's success under the SPA model was a testament to the effectiveness of a comprehensive and integrated approach to business operations. Lesson. Taking control of the entire value chain of your business can give you the flexibility to adapt swiftly to market trends and maintain consistent quality, thereby enhancing your brand's reputation. Episode 2. Innovation with Fleece Jackets In 1998, Yanai introduced fleece jackets to Uniqlo's product line, a move that was initially met with skepticism. However, Yanai, confident about the potential of this product, pushed ahead with his marketing plans. His faith was rewarded when the fleece jackets became a massive hit, selling over 26 million units in the first year alone. This product launch not only revolutionized Uniqlo's standing in the Japanese retail industry but also underscored the effectiveness of innovative product marketing. The success of the fleece jackets demonstrated how a unique product, marketed effectively, could capture consumers' imagination and lead to unprecedented sales. Lesson. Trusting your instincts and believing in your product can lead to breakthroughs in marketing. An innovative product, coupled with a strategic marketing campaign, can help overcome initial skepticism and resistance. Episode 3. Overcoming setbacks and reinventing the brand In the early 2000s, Uniqlo faced a challenging period, with a significant decline in sales. However, Yanai refused to be defeated. He responded by revamping Uniqlo's product line, introducing new designs and quality improvements. He also sought collaborations with renowned designers such as Jill Sander to inject a fresh perspective into Uniqlo's offerings. Simultaneously, Yanai launched aggressive marketing campaigns to re-establish Uniqlo's position in the market. His strategic decisions and marketing efforts turned around Uniqlo's fortunes, proving that adaptability and resilience are critical in maintaining a brand's relevance and success. Lesson. Adaptability and resilience are key to overcoming marketing challenges. When confronted with difficulties, a brand must be ready to reassess its strategies, innovate, and adjust its marketing efforts to realign with changing market dynamics. Episode 4. The expansion into the American market Yanai's vision for Uniqlo was not limited to Japan. In 2005, he made the bold decision to take Uniqlo to the American market. However, the initial venture was fraught with challenges, and Uniqlo struggled to make an impact. Undeterred, Yanai adopted a new approach. He closed unprofitable stores and refocused Uniqlo's marketing strategy. He targeted major cities and opened flagship stores in high-traffic areas like New York and San Francisco. This localized marketing strategy gradually helped Uniqlo gain recognition and acceptance in the U.S. Lesson. Localized marketing is indispensable when entering a new market. It's crucial to understand the local culture, consumer behavior, and market dynamics, and adapt your marketing strategies accordingly. Be patient, learn from initial setbacks, and don't be afraid to change course if necessary. Episode 5. Embracing sustainable fashion as consumer preferences started leaning towards sustainable and eco-friendly products, Yanai saw another opportunity to align Uniqlo's offerings with these emerging trends. Uniqlo launched several initiatives promoting sustainability, such as the Recycle Down Jackets and a clothing recycling program. These efforts projected Uniqlo as a socially responsible brand, aligning with the rising consumer trend towards eco-conscious shopping. 
This alignment not only enhanced Uniqlo's brand image but also resonated strongly with consumers, demonstrating how societal values and trends can influence and shape marketing strategies. Lesson. Aligning your business with societal values and trends can significantly enhance your brand image and appeal to a wider consumer base. It's vital to stay abreast of societal changes and adapt your marketing strategy to reflect these shifts. Conclusion In conclusion, Tadashi Yanai's marketing journey with Uniqlo is rich with lessons for marketers and entrepreneurs. His innovative approach to business models, his belief in his products, his adaptability in the face of challenges, his understanding of localized marketing, and his alignment with societal values offer a comprehensive guide to effective marketing. Despite the competitive and ever-changing business landscape, Yanai's strategies have steered Uniqlo towards global recognition and success. His journey serves as a testament to the power of strategic marketing and offers inspiration to anyone looking to make their mark in the business world.